Not every saint who's canonized is honored with the feast day that the whole church celebrates. Today's calendar of saints has one that I particularly like, even though we won't be remembering him at Mass. His name? St. Joseph of Cupertino, a Franciscan friar who lived in the 1600s. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, and the reason I like St. Joseph of Cupertino is because many people would have considered him an unlikely saint. As a boy, he was clumsy and absent-minded, so much so that he often forgot to eat and wandered about aimlessly with his mouth open. They called him Boca Perta, or the Gaper. He had trouble finding a job with relatives and was rejected by one group of Franciscans only to enter the Capuchin Franciscans where he dropped so many dishes and plates that he could be trusted with no work at all and was dismissed. His mother wasn't happy to see him return home. Maybe she was afraid of her own kitchenware. And she nagged her brother, who was a conventual Franciscan, to accept him, which he did. He was more successful this time. And even more, his humility, penance, and general holiness led to his being ordained a priest even though he read badly and could hardly write. From this point on, his life was filled with well-documented spiritual events and ecstasies. When his heart was moved, his body would follow, sometimes flying in the air to kiss a statue or in excitement at visiting with Pope Urban VIII. This strange phenomenon is known as levitation, and as a result of it, St. Joseph of Cupertino has been named the patron saint of pilots and aviators. So, here we have a saint who, by many people's standards, was a fool, but God showed him special favors. Truly, God chooses the weak to shame the wise of the world.